Did you know? The native wild roses are so much more than just pretty flowers. Colorful, sweet-scented flowers do not produce nectar, but the ample pollen they produce is gathered by many species of native bees, especially bumblebees, and even a longhorn bee that is a rose pollen specialist. Honeybees also gather pollen from the wild roses, and it is also eaten by a colorful assortment of beetles. Rose foliage is fed upon by many species of insects, including sawfly larvae, and up to 102 species of caterpillars that will use rose as a host plant, including the impressive caterpillar of the equally impressive Cecropia moth. Of course, all those caterpillars are an important food source for songbirds, especially during the nesting season. Wild roses also feed songbirds and game birds through the fall and winter with an ample supply of highly nutritious rose hips. The hips are quite persistent and will remain on the rose shrubs through the winter, at least until they are all eaten. Not only do the hips feed birds, but they are also sought out by small mammals such as squirrels and even larger critters like deer. They provide dense, thorny cover for feeding, resting, and nesting songbirds, a place to take cover for from predators for small mammals and reptiles and provide nest making material for leafcutter bees and nesting sites for native bees that create nesting chambers in hollow twigs.